What do you think that he saw in David Moyes that made him want him to take over from him? Well, probably saw a lot of himself. Yeah, you know, he's Scottish, hard working, very passionate about the game. Um, David Moyes did a fantastic job at Everton with limited resources for 11 years. He knows the Premier League inside out. Um, so probably that, that influenced Sir Alex's decision. Um, David Moyes, uh, I think, deserves the chance to man manage Manchester United, the job he did after uh, Everton. It's a cha Sir Alex, it was a challenge for Sir Alex er every year you know, to, to, win, to win trophies, and that's, that's no different with David Moyes. There's no guarantee of success. You have to go out and earn it. And uh, as I said, uh, you know, the pre Premier League is going to be tough this year with so many teams in the race for it, but uh, I've no doubt that we'll be in there challenging at the end. Can he only benefit from him having around, or can it sometimes be a bit of an extra pressure? Well, I don't think he's over David. I think it's just uh, because of his role, ambassadorial role, you know, he goes to games. Um, I think David Moyes is first and foremost his, his own man. Um, you know, he's got a good, um, manager, good team around him. You know, Jimmy Lums and Steve Brown, Chris Woods. You know, Giggsy's in there. Phil Nev's in there. Nicky Butts at the training ground. So I think you know, it's uh, a couple of experienced players there to help him. Um, and the rest of you know, have been with him for a while. So um, I think he's very much his own man, Dave Moyes. And I think you know, Sir Alex is part and parcel of this football club. Um, still goes to see games. You know, he was at Cardiff on on Sunday. So that's good to see.